I'm glad you find the time in a busy week like this to uh, stop by uh, at this place. Thanks for us for launching the hopefully discussion afterwards. And uh, just a couple of words around uh, the brand. You you might know the Hans Brewer Company is uh, has 111 years of history now. All this started in the Black Forest in Germany with my grandfather. Uh, in the 60s, my father Klaus started to open the door to cooperation with designers and uh, added uh, to an existing culture of innovation, a culture of design. This is what I found when I started to work in the company. And uh, this is what we try to do every day. Great design married to great technology. I am especially proud today because we do showcase and you will be able to experience a very innovative project which is giving more by using less. And that's uh, not always easy. And to realize this kind of project, you need a great team. On the design side, obviously, research and development, construction, and communication too and also a company which gives us the possibility to think big and different. And I very deeply believe that our success is made by cooperation with good and great people. And the value of long-term partnership is reflected in a great way in the partnership we do have with Philip Stark since 1992. So it's 25 years of Hans Grohe USA, but it's also 20 years of creative discussion and exchange with Philippe. And uh, I'm very glad he made the way here to New York and that he will now come to the stage to explain a little bit how uh, this collaboration is and how this project came together. Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, I'm sorry for my English, it's worse than worst. My <laughs> wife tell me that. I don't understand the age, Alzheimer, I don't know, but it's worse than worst. Uh, so, with my wife, one more time, I hope it's not a problem for you, I speak only about my wife. Huh? <laughs> so, 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 that's a main subject. Uh, we are not very, very mundane, very sociable. That means we live mainly in the middle of nowhere. We have a very nice collection of middle of nowhere. Uh, we live in a small island in southwest where we produce oysters, in an island of uh, 400 meters diameter, which is high like that, only mud, very sexy. Uh, we live uh, in another small island, one kilometer diameter in Venice, in Burano far from everything, and we live on a rock, on a rock in the small island of, of Forantera. And the story starts from nowhere. Uh, because I was in this island, in the house, on the terrace, working or sleeping, because I make only two things, working, sleeping, sleeping, working, working, sleeping, and not very fun to live. And uh, it was very, very warm. Uh, I think it was August. Uh, and suddenly, I, I see something which is impossible, a guy arriving on a bicycle, a uh, lot of sweat like that, and I said, Mr. Stark, I said, yes, uh, it was clearly German, Mr. Stark, uh, and uh, can we speak? I said, yes, a guy who arrived from so far like that on a bicycle. He was a very sexy guy, very uh, sport, uh, nice, very nice person. And, uh, and he said, we can work together. And I said, why not? And he said, I am Klaus Grohl, the father of Philippe. And since this time, uh, we work together before with Klaus, now with Klaus and Philippe. And uh, we have a tradition, we work only in Informantera. That was something very important for Klaus and Philippe to continue the process uh, to work in the middle of nowhere, 
quietly out of everything, out of all industry, business, marketing, and things like that. It's important because perhaps it's the DNA of the story. In 20 years, I was not born, I was uh, six years old, some six, seven years old, something like that, that is 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, uh, in 20 years, we have, I think, created a revolution. Uh, a revolution about foresight, it's not very important, but inside foresight, it's very important. And uh, this revolution was uh, just clean, just cleaning, 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 and bring things to the bone, to the center, to the essence, to the right meaning, the right symbol. Uh, uh, I, am, I hope I am not too pretentious, too ambitious to say that before all the faucet was very complicated, all the, the bathroom was complicated with style. Even I remember when I signed uh, with Duravit for all the white product, uh, sink, uh, toilet and things like that, they tell me and we shall make one collection by year. I said, one collection by year? That means... Uh, 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 that means, I think, even to change your dress one time by year is a little ridiculous, but to change your sink and your bathtub one time by year, I cannot think about that. Oh yes, but people want different colors, different shapes. I said, no way, no way. Something like that, you buy one time in your life and you keep it all your life. Uh, that's, why, that's why it was very important to clean, to become timeless, because timeless is perhaps one of the most modern parameters for the value we need today, and definitely for the value of tomorrow. The idea was very simple, to clean is to come back to the main subconscious icon we have in our brain. Uh, for me, the first thing about the sink and the toilet seat, and the first thing I saw when I was a child, which contained water, was a bucket. Bucket, it's clear. Bucket, you put water in. That's why everything was designed like a bucket. And, uh, you know, I have not a big imagination. <laughs> and, uh, and for the faucet, it was a tube. The tube I saw when I was young, uh, it was in a farm, and there was a tube like that, with, with a pump, without a pump, but it was a tube which makes this. That's why I make the faucet like the minimum, 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 minimum. We have made a, a beautiful success with that. We have rebuilt almost the landscape uh, of that, thanks to all the people who have copied us. And, uh, and now it's done. Uh, it's impossible to make less than we have made with all this collection before. When you know you cannot make less, you know you have made really your job. Because less materiality, less design, less everything we have around us make more for us. But, but after a time, I leave myself during 20 years with all this collection, I was very happy. And because I'm, I'm become very old now, I shall die in the next minutes, months, or week, I don't know, uh, I, sh I, I was thinking about life, life. And I said, okay, this is really the minimum. It's an icon, it's a symbol, it's a theory, it's a philosophy. But where is life? Where is the life? Because the life is the most important of everything. And I said, I have, to, I have to search how I can transmit life. Stay always at the minimum, minimum like the philosophy, uh, but with something else, something you cannot impeach life, the energy of life. And I realized, which is something which was not very complicated, because also I am not very intelligent, life is us. Finally, the two things we can see Uh, uh, around us, uh, about life, it's us, animals, and uh, vegetal. That's why I have to rethink uh, all my theory with the life uh, coming from us, from animals, and uh, vegetals. I was thinking about, finally, 
try to find the uh, organic energy. It's what we have made. It's what we have made. Uh, I have, we have made, it was very long. We have worked, I don't know, Philippe, I don't remember, five, six years on that now, more. Three and a half. Three and a half. But working with him looks like 20. <laughs> uh, no, it's not true. He's the most charming person in the world. And, uh, which is very important also. Uh, and uh, how I can express the life. Uh, the life between us, we know. We know love, we know, we know tenderness, we know sex, we know make love, you know, well, that means it's clearly, clearly, it's clear. Uh, for, for vegetal, I just remember that when, because I live also in the middle of a forest, a big forest, and uh, in spring, in spring, when you walk in a forest, there is an incredible energy. Uh, I hope I, am, I shall not shock, shock you, but it's incredibly sexual. When you see the energy, the line of vegetal like that, the new vegetal, the young vegetal, it's incredibly strong. You know that nothing can stop this energy. That's why I have tried to, 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 to catch to, to, yes, to catch uh, the spirit of all these lines. That means I have asked my wife to be uh, to walk naked in the forest, and I was sit like that with a pen, and I said, "Oh, this uh, this line of his back and thing like that, and this line of the street." Not true, uh, but it was mainly the idea to find uh, between uh, between both what is the energy. I think it's done. I think perhaps you have saw it. You will see it more on a small movie I shall introduce you in two minutes. But, but we were speaking about life also. But also, why not about saving life? Which is important because if we don't save life, it's difficult to speak about life because perhaps there is no more life. Uh, some people today, during this uh, charming meeting, will die just during these few minutes. Uh, some have, not, have no water, some others have poison water, but they will die. That means we know that, so I don't uh, invent anything. The next war, and we shall see really war about that, will be the water, because we shall have less and less water, and uh, save water, I'm sorry, it's Everybody know, knows that it's really the the main one of the main priority now. That's why I have tried to be in harmony between my envy, my desire uh, to speak about life and the real life. Uh, we have worked a lot. I don't remember if it was three years or twenty years about how saving saving water. Because uh, you can read magazine, and, uh, you have to save water, you have to save water, so what? Yes, at the end, when you want to brush your teeth, you make always the same thing. The same movement, and you, uh, you, waste, you what? Waste, waste uh, water. Philippe had a very, very smart idea, because he's German. He's very intelligent, <laughs> and they make study, and things like that. And they come back with study, and they are and he said, you know, there is something very simple, which is when, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I don't remember the percentage, but it's enormous, 30, 30% 30 of the water you waste is just when you wait uh, to change the temperature. Because you have to wait, it's cold, and there are not. It's an enormous amount. And he said, we have to avoid that, and we have to find a way to preset because finally, they have made a study and we never change of temperature. We change exceptionally. We can say we change of temperature 5, 10% no more, but we lose all the money. That's why we have completely, we have reinvented completely a new ergonomy about that. Presetting the, the temperature, done. Easy to change, done. Also, 
by presetting the term Blanchard, I speak for us, the girls, who clean, the girls who have a, a, a bad education husband, like me, and uh, we have always to clean around because when you have some water, soap, and, like that, and after you uh, uh, close, and like that, there is water everywhere. Uh, and me, I take care about all these small details. Because it's not small, finally, when you do it ten, you, when you do it ten times by day, uh, it's no more small details. That's why uh, when you preset, uh, everything you do is in the sink. Small details, but because uh, finally the on-off is at the end of the tube. That means you have to touch nothing out of the sink, and just at the end you make zik zik. Uh, in a very elegant way, even. And now there is the two other parameters, which are very, very important. We have make a, a, a one position, a second position. That naturally, you go to the first position. Exceptionally, you go to the boost position. Uh, the new position is the new standard. That means we save a lot, a lot of money in the new standard position, and exceptionally, we go to the boost. It's an addition of small details like that by millions of people who use a product which change something. After, we have invent, I never think about uh, invent a name, but we can say the empty water. When you have a, a sink, you see a tube of water, full of water. You don't need this. We have work, I don't remember if it was seven years or 35 years, uh, but it was a lot of work to give a, a sort of tube of water, which is not a spray, which is not full, something between, which give us the feeling, the human feeling, the satisfaction to have a lot of water, but we use a lot, a lot less of water because there is more air than water. That means, that means now we are completely coherent. We are speaking about life, we are speaking about saving water, means saving saving uh, life also, we can say that we are in harmony. And that is the most important thing, harmony. Some people tell me, uh, journalists like you, ask me what is beauty? What, what is beautiful? What is beauty? I said I have really no idea about beauty. Because today we shall love this, to, tomorrow we shall hate it, after tomorrow we shall love again this, and that means nothing. But harmony, harmony, we can speak about harmony. Harmony is the perfect balance of all the parameters of human production. Uh, with these people of AXOR, we have the opportunity to take our time, to have the power, the money, the research, everything you want, to have to make a product which is structurally honest because it's in harmony. That is the work we have made today. If it was a regular uh, faucet, I shall never come from Paris to New York, I know it's not so far, but we have something else to do, to explain you that. Uh, I come here because it's a little more than a faucet. It's a philosophy, it's an ethic, and it's a other way of thinking, the product for today and tomorrow. Uh, let me check on my paper, if I have not forget a very important keyword. Alors, we have speak about the organic energy, the economy of the big E. Economy of, of, with a big E, it's something uh, in the philosophical area, uh, which is known. Everything in nature is driven by economy. And we, we said always economy to not make a few confusion with the money. Economy with a big E. You can see everywhere uh, the nature is driven by uh, uh, the economy of big E. Um, that's all. Uh, that, means, that means we, are, we can come back on life and say 
this product have the organic way of thinking in the DNA. It's an organic DNA. Okay, now uh, I shall show you, and now the winners are, uh, and now the winners are a small movie, I don't know, I guess, here, and uh, that will be more clear. It's why that can be a lot nicer for you just to show you the movie, because in two minutes, you will understand more than when I speak during 20 minutes. But you know, uh, it's more fun like that. That's why you look at that, and after we go to details, important details. <coughs> from this 20 years ago to this we have reinvented ourselves with the same honesty, the same rigorness, and if I can say the same purity. But between this and this there is uh, the future, the future of our ecosystem in that. Uh, now we can uh, go to technical details and even more, with Philippe Groeux, who know more than me all the things inside because finally it's his job. <laughs> <laughs> I stay here if he, if he needs me. If need ah, yes, 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 we have to go. Oh, definitely, oh, I need him. I, I, I close my uh, jacket because my uh, wife come and tell me, uh, close it, it's too ugly, uh, your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> You see, the inset, temperature, the on-off, the boost, everything is so, it's so easy. And you see uh, also how the nature uh, uh, show us, teach us, or make something so smooth and also so easy uh, to maintain. You know, uh, the theory, the theory. You are dreaming about a product, you are working about a product, it's a lot of work, but finally, all that is theory. Until Philippe gives me one. I put that in the oyster farm, and uh, since this time, I use it. It's, uh, I am not the best position to say that, but it works. But it works, I am, I am even astonished how 
I never change the temperature. Never, never, never. I change the temperature two times by week, not more. That means uh, it was a stupid idea, because not my skin, uh, but it worked. Philippe? Thank you, Philippe. And uh, I think you all understood that uh, we do use this mixer in a very different way than we do use the standard mixers. It is the manipulation is closer to us. It's also easier for the people. You don't have to reach as far and it's lower. It's not on the top of the mixer. Meaning you open the water into your hands. The spray is designed to be broader, so it's covering a more larger area. You don't have to move so much. And it gives you a great feeling. We use less than half than a standard mixer. And you have a great feeling using this water. When my fingers are wet, I can close this mixer. It stays clean. The one or two drops will fall into the sink. There also we have something which is economical in movement, economical in use, and economical in water, obviously. The story of the preset is a little bit complicated because you have to figure what happens when you open a standard mixer. 90% of people open it full. And they open it not on cold. They don't make this movement to cold. No. They open it on warm. But when you wash hands, you don't wait for hot water. You wash your hands with high temperature and you close the mixer. And the hot water, the, which is pulled into the hot water pipe, is getting cold in the hot water pipe. And this is millions and millions of liters of water. So yeah, we do have a new way to use. We have, like Philip explained very well, we have this preset. If you know you want to wash your face, you can, before you use the mixer, you can set it on warm or on hot, and you will wait 15, 20, sometimes 30 seconds to get the warm water. And it's the main reason why we offer the boost spray is that we don't want the people to wait too long because we can make products but we do not make the installation of the house of the system in the house and we have to respect the different situations the spray and you will try yourself the spray is the most luxurious shower mixer spray in the world we developed it ourselves there is 90 little nozzles it is with a silicone material, meaning that with lime scale you won't have any problems from time to time. You rub and it will be clean and the perfect spray again. Did I forget something? No, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think this is the things you can see and also experience. If you look inside, and Philip said yes, we are German in the Black Forest. <laughs> <laughs> for sometimes we try to be very German, for others we try to be not German at all. Uh, if we look at this mixer, we made another nice little innovation. The shape gave us the possibility to make extremely thin walls. So we have a very high value shape. We were able to make this fantastic design with about 30% less material than you would use for a standard manufactured mixer. And because it's so hollow, which you don't feel huh, from the outside. Because it's so hollow, we were able to bring the flexible hoses, which normally connect at the bottom of the mixer, we're able to bring them up to the cartridge, up to the engine of this mixer. That is a mixer where water is not getting in contact with brass. That's a no lead mixer. And it's another little way to say we're extremely efficient in production, uh, in the use of material, which is energy because you have to cast, and uh, we try to respect this water as much as it is possible. So that's the more technical side of it. I hope uh, this was uh, clear on my side too. And we do question and answer. Question with pleasure. Everything which is intelligent 
All the question in intelligence is for Philippe. All the other about the speed, the speaking about uh, I don't know what else. Uh, it's me. <laughs> Why my wife is so beautiful and 23 years longer than me? It's a mystery. I, agree with you. <laughs> I even don't understand. But the priority is I don't want she understand. There is a problem. <laughs> Until now, it's okay. Only one question. Yes. Uh, little technical question, I guess. What is the, the flow rate between the regular setting and the booster setting? So what? I'm sorry. The flow, the flow rate. rate. So what? So, the the flow rate. Rate. that's for me, that's for me. Uh, <laughs> that's why I don't understand it. <laughs> so, when I came, I asked because obviously we think in liters, but uh, this is uh, this, the, the standard position is at 0.9 gallons per minute, uh, and the boost position is at 1.3. The standard mixer is between 2.2 and 2.5 gallons per minute, so it's less than half. And you will try, we have fountains here. You will try, please. You wash your hands. We'll find some towels or something like that. <laughs> so then you can experience it. What, uh, what sort of method did you use to develop the shape? Was it kind of a mix of digital, or how, how did you go about? It's something very, very sophisticated. Uh, it's uh, this. <laughs> it's this. Uh, you know. When you use a computer for creativity, you have just the creativity of the person who have made the program. That means the, the, the intelligence of the guy who have made the program, the software, sorry, the software, it's this. You, you can be very creative, but in this. That's why me, my job is first cre creativity. And I don't want to be in the box of somebody else. I don't, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't want to explore the territory of the intelligence of somebody else. That's why I dream myself, I think myself, and I draw myself. And uh, new generation have really forget the incredible power of a brain, a hand, a paper, and a pen. And I have only this. Uh, I have, uh, I make a lot of things, rocket, motorcycle, carana, always with a pen. After, to be honest, for the development, uh, uh, we, we use, they, the team, the team, my team and them, use computer. But this is drawings, after drawings, after drawings, uh, with prototype and prototype and prototype. Uh, when when he bring a prototype every two months, three months, uh, it's that looks a little cuckoo. That looks a little cuckoo because we are uh, twelve around the table, and there is this, and uh, it's absolutely perfect, but never enough perfect. And during hours, we are like that, <laughs> and like that. And after like that. And what is done after we redo it, but like this. And this is not the same line. And after what is done, we make it like this. Uh, hours, day, months, year. But at the end, it's free. And the truth is, by staying, because we have like, I think, stacks of paper of Philip's drawings. In the meantime, it's 20 years. And by staying on the drawings, you stay with the essential. Mm -hmm. And only when we move to the prototype phase, you start to look at the detail. And it's not true, it's not ours. Philip sees in a second when there is a split little detail which is not like it should be. Do you see these in both bathrooms and kitchens? Where do you imagine these? Now, the different heights is because uh, the, the situation in the bathroom has changed a lot. There is a lot of different uh, basin designs, and uh, today with one height, you wouldn't uh, respect all of what is in the market. Today, if a, best, if, uh, a top, a top the, your, the, your sink top, is this, you have the basin like this inside with a short faucet, but if the sink is on, you need to have a higher. And because there is different, uh, and uh, I cannot complain, I have invented the thing on the top. That's why I cannot say it's bad. 
The hand shower. Yes. The hand shower. Uh, I speak under your control. Uh, we can't speak too much about it because we work on now since four years, three, three years. About. About. Because there is a, a new revolution. A new, 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 new revolution. Uh, you will see something astonishing. No, <laughs> so something you, you have never see that, even you don't know that it exists. Ta -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Done? We go to sleep? <laughs> Can you imagine how we are nice to have a showroom in the meat market? and not in the suburb somewhere, because now you can have a drink at Pastis, at the Standard, look at the shop, uh, Alexander McQueen, and things like that, and you have to say thank you to make this here. <laughs> and thank you very much to Philip for coming. And thank you very much to the American team to pull this up. Thank you, Mika, for filling this space and for the big thing they have to work behind this curtain. Thanks a lot for coming. Thank you, bye-bye.